If you recall last time we were working on the header tank and here you can see uh, Jeff has bonded in these baffles and he's just removing the peel ply there and uh, you can also see he sort of made little cutouts in the bot bottom and top corner to allow the fuel to move around also to allow air to move around uh, in the top of the tank so it can uh, vent out correctly and not get any uh, air trapped uh, in the top of it there. And there's the hard points and they've been uh, bonded into place now I believe uh, Jeff just used some 5-minute uh, epoxy on there, so they need to have um, some carbon fiber laid up over the top of them. And uh, you remember last time I told you what all those different hard points were for, so I won't go over that again. And uh, but anyway, so those are there and just need to have some uh, carbon fiber put out the, over the top and then be re-drilled again and the tank is uh, pretty much prepared at that point. And this is one of the level switches that will be installed in the tank. So one will be at the top and it'll basically uh, the light will come on on the dash um, when you get any with anywhere below completely full in the tank. And another one will come uh, when the tank is uh, slightly um, above the halfway point. So next up in terms of uh, plugs and molds uh, is the inner winglet skin. So these two different surfaces here. So I had to, uh, you know, set that up all the tooling uh, for the mill so here is it with all the flanges put on there still on the angle but if I roll it around here this is how it actually looks when it's uh, sitting on the table or you know sitting on the plug itself so that's with all the different uh, flanges in place that make it easy you know to uh, lay up the part and ha have a nice uh, flange for the vacuum bagging and so the guys welded the platform up and um, screwed the, the um, plywood on there and glued the foam on there and so off off we go again uh, with the CNC machine so um, business as usual I guess and here we are a little bit further along the rough cut has been done and it's uh, doing all the face cuts so here it's just working on that front flange that's underneath um, the leading edge um, of the winglet so still a little bit more to go and then to switch to the ball mill and meanwhile Chris and Roberto are in uh, there on uh, Thursday and finishing up the heavy layup on this uh, outside uh, winglet skin mold and so here you can see they've already laid everything up there and just finishing off with the uh, breather fabric and uh, getting ready to bag it and here's the other one and uh, Devon's just sort of cleaning that up so that one was already done um, the previous day on Wednesday and uh, just needs to have the bracing put on there and you see Devon's just sort of cleaning up the residual uh, tacky tape there and then uh, very quickly the guys threw that together on Wednesday, on Thursday night again and so there's the bracing put on that one. So that didn't take long. So that one's pretty much finished now, it just has to be released. And uh, now this is uh, Friday morning, so Zach is uh, peeling off the one that you saw just before and just cleaning that all up. So that one now is um, ready to have the bracing all set up. And still on this uh, first of the inner winglet ones there, you can see actually the way I've dialed in the machine now, it can actually mill uphill to um, as much as 110 degrees, so 20 degrees up from horizontal. And that really helpful because this one has sort of like an undercut um, on the uh, lower side edge of that uh, curve of the leading edge. So being able to do that uh, makes it real easy that I can run the flat mill and do that. Uh, anyway, here's the um, last of the upper wing skin molds and that one was just popped from its plug and that came out nice. A um, little bit of residual damage um, to the plug there but nothing that's uh, not repairable but the mold came out fine, no no damage to that. And uh, so here's the one off the mill now and uh, Jeff's just doing last uh, little preps and just clean up around the edges so that one's ready, um, will be ready for glassing. And back to the header tank you can see now that uh, the hard points have been covered with uh, a layer of carbon fibre so what remains now is they need to be drilled out and the fittings can be uh, screwed into place and then the inside of the tank um, will get um, a coat of uh, Jeffco to seal it and then uh, we can put the closeout panel on there and it's ready to uh, bolt into place on the aft bulkhead. And here you can see uh, Jeff finished the, the prep work or the finish work on that uh, inner winglet uh, plug and he's just laid a piece of glass there in preparation for the guys to uh, be in today and uh, glass that so we can uh, spray it with putty next week. And Zach was busy yesterday uh, cutting the foam for this one and uh, laying the, the um, glass there in preparation again for the guys, uh, Roberto and Chris, to glass those. 
And so here's the other one. This is the right side winglet plug now. So that's up on the mill. Um, so we did basically the left one was the one you're looking at just now. So this is the right side. So we'll get that one knocked out um, by the end of the weekend. So we'll be able to work on it on Monday. And uh, you remember this uh, little fixture that holds the turbo there. And I tapped both of those holes. So there's the fittings there. We need to um, increase the depth of those holes. So we're going to actually create a custom tap that goes a little deeper. Uh, but we'll do that next week and then those will be done. And on Thursday I did a quick trip about an hour north of where we are and picked up the shafts here. So that's the lower one there. The, that's basically the drive shaft that aligns with the crankshaft of the engine. And this is the upper one. So that's where the prop, um, that's a prop flange with the prop bolts to that. So uh, both of those came out super nice. Really happy with that. And so we're further along now uh, for getting the belt drive system all together. Anyway, that's our update for this week, and uh, thanks again for watching.